hello everyone welcome back and thank you so much for stopping by and today's menu we are making baked chicken this is one of the tastiest and juiciest baked chicken you will ever make let's get started i have my four large onions i have some ginger that's a lot of ginger because i'm making a party style um, baked chicken i have my rosemary onion seed and black peppercorns and I blended everything and yes, I'm pouring it into a bowl. Uh, if you're making it for just few people, just reduce the quantity of all the ingredients that I used. I'm going to be adding some um, ground cloves to it, just a little bit. Do not use too much cloves because it has that strong flavor and you don't want to use too much. I'm adding some edible powder. I also added some string tablets. Um, use any seasoning of your choice at this point, but this is the seasoning I use and I loved it. And if you want to follow it, yeah, trust me, you will love it. I'm going to be using this sweet agile all purpose um, seasoning. I've used it before in most of my recipes. Trust me, it's really good. I'm also going to link where I bought it and um, if you want to purchase one. I stir everything together and yeah, I'm going to use this in a minute. And I have my washed chicken. I'm using drumsticks. I'm adding my blended ingredients. And I'm going to cook this in its own juice. I'm not going to add any more water to it. And yeah, I'm cooking it because yeah, it takes forever to bake chicken. This is the fastest way I love to bake my chicken. And trust me, if you do this, your chicken is going to taste good. And it's going to bake faster. I added some salt to taste. I'm also adding this complete video seasoning. As I said, use any seasoning of your choice. This is what I use. And I love it. So if you want to follow the same recipe with the same um, ingredients, yeah, do a spot. And trust me, your chicken, your big chicken will turn out so, so good. Tastes really good. And I gave this a stir. You want to make sure you give this a stir to make sure the seasoning is not on one place and the chicken is also on one place. So I covered this and I let this cook under um, high heat for 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, I give the chicken a stir. And after this, I'm not going to stir it again because after 10 minutes, the chicken is so hard, you can tell it's not cooked. So it's easier for me to stir because it's not going to tear apart. But after this, I'm going to cover it and let it cook through till it's well done. And within that, I'm not going to stir it because when you stir it, it's going to tear apart. As you can see, the chicken is done. It looks good. See, it's well done. And this cook for additional 15 to 20 minutes. And yeah, uh, I turn the heat off. And now I'm going to make my dry rub for my um, chicken. This is to put it on before I bake it. I have my sweet jelly kale really spice. Yeah, I'm also going to link that. Really good. Use that for your chicken and trust me, you will love it. I'm adding some ginger powder. I'm also going to be adding some curry powder. And yeah, I'm not adding too much because we're not going to make curry chicken. We just don't want it to overpower the baked chicken. Just a little bit. And that's it. I'm also going to be adding sweet jelly all purpose um, seasoning to it. I also have my parsley flakes. Yes, I'm going to add that to it. And I'm going to add a little bit of the ground clove to it. And because I want a little bit of cake, not too much, just a little bit, I'm going to add some cayenne pepper to it. And finally, I'm going to add some salt to taste. Mix everything together. And yeah, this is going to be our dry rub. We're going to put it on top of our chicken before we put it in the oven. So the reason why I love the dry rub on the chicken before I bake it is, um, you know, all the ginger, all the other seasoning that I use to steam or to cook the chicken before I'm going to bake it is most of them went into the stock after it was cooked. So even though your chicken still tastes good, it doesn't have that kind of spicy like that kind of seasoning in it so you need a little bit of some dry rub in it so i put a little bit on it and this is a little bit of oil just to give it that golden brown color you know like kind of fried kind of big yeah so that's what i did and look at it um after i baked it i'm going to just flip it on the side to also put some of the dry rub and a little bit of oil and put it back in the oven 
and yeah i did that for all the chicken it was a lot so i couldn't show all of it but this is how i did it and it was so good so i baked this in a 400 degrees oven um for about 20 minutes 30 minutes there just because i just needed the brown um, golden color because the chicken is already cooked i just needed that golden brown color to it so you don't want to put it on low heat because it's going to take longer you want it to put on high um heat to give it that brown color and yeah that's all you need and it saves a lot of time when you're baking your chicken when you put it straight into the oven without steaming or cooking it, it takes forever to cook and my chicken is ready and i'm putting everything into a big tray because i had to like bake it into small trays because my oven wasn't that big so yes everything is done and um look how beautiful that looks the golden brown color and i'm gonna just take one for you to see how it looks and look at that when you break into it so easy it falls out of the bone you don't need to stress yourself and look at that so juicy in the inside and so so good if you ever struggle baking chicken and it takes forever to be done especially when we bake chicken we want that golden brown color so we put it in the oven forever the juice has to come out we have to drain the juice forever just forever try this recipe and trust me you're gonna love this recipe and it tastes really good remember to add the dry wrap to it before you bake it and you're gonna love it all right everybody thank you so much for watching this video if you loved it please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel if you have it until i come your way next time this is cook with Nike. be good to yourself be good to everybody it goes a long way